Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how to use um, conditional formatting and a couple of other functions to simply highlight rows in a, a certain rows in a particular group of data. And the rows are going to be based off odd number months, or odd months, like January, March, May, and so forth. Let's, let's try it like this. I'm going to have a column here of dates, and I'll have a column here of amount, and a column here of balance. And I'll start off with 1, 1, 12. And I'll do 1, 8, 12. Select these two. And I'm going to just fill down. So this way I get a bunch of dates. Now I want a bunch of amounts. I'll go ahead and select all of these cells. So while my cells are selected here, I'll type in equals ran between negative 500, comma, positive 800. And then instead of just pressing enter, I'll press control enter. And that'll put in a bunch of random numbers in those uh, cells. I'll simply right click on the selected border, drag away, drag back, copy here as values only. So now I have some data. Actually, I don't want one in the first there. My balance will start at 1,000. The next one will be equals the balance plus the amount. Autofill that down. So now I have kind of like a, a, a mock accounting sheet. Go ahead and align these to the right. Select everything. S cell borders. Bold. Here we go. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to highlight every other month using uh, different fill color, different cell color. To do that, I'm going to select my entire data range. And I'll go to Conditional Formatting. And I'm going to create a brand new rule. This rule is going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to use a formula. And now I simply have to type out the formula. And I'm going to type out a combination of things. I'm going to be using a month function and an is odd function. Basically, I want to look and see is odd. There's also an is even function. Is odd parentheses month parentheses a2 closing parentheses closing parentheses. So basically what this function is doing, it's looking at the month of A2. A2 contains a date. And now it's, and, and that's going to, by the way, the month is going to simply extract a number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 12. We don't know, though. We don't know what's in A2. And now I'm just going to find out, is that number odd? Is it a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or so forth? Now, if this is all true, then I'm going to change the color coding. And I'll just change the fill. And I'll change it over to this uh, rosy color. And I'll click OK. I have one more quick fix to make. I want to reference all. I want to reference each of the dates in here, not just A2. So I'm going to go to my reference. And where I have dollar sign $2, I'm going to delete that because that's an absolute reference. So now I'm going to do absolute column, dollar sign A, and then just number 2. So basically, it's going to reference each individual date. And since I selected the entire row, basically, in advance, it's going to apply that formatting to that row. Very slick. So now when I click OK, you'll see that all of my odd number months now have that rosy or reddish fill. So that's using conditional formatting to change simply the cell colors of um, odd numbered months. Sorry. Now I want to show you something. I want to enhance this a little bit just so you can see that it can be made dynamically. Let me go back to conditional formatting. I'm going to manage my rules. And I see that this particular rule that I just created applies to cells A2 to C35. OK? Well, what if I changed C35 to just like C100? OK? I click All right, and I scroll down, and I see, oh, wow, that's kind of weird. It's got a bunch of oddness in there. And basically, it's looking for um, any changes. It's looking for those odd months, and it sees the missing month as an odd month. So that's kind of, it's not really what I wanted to have happen. So we could mix, we could change this up a little. What if we went to conditional formatting and manage rules? And I'm going to edit this rule. And let's try something different. Let's try is 
even. Click OK, click OK. There we go, look at that. Now only the even months have that. But because I'm still applying it all the way through row 100, watch this. If I type in another date like 9912, and I can put in an amount, and of course I can copy that down so my formula, all right, everything's looking good. What if I do another even month though? What if I 10, oops, oh, 12 was even too, but 10, 1, 12. Watch when I press tab. There we go. As soon as I put in an even month, that entire row gets formatted as it should. So it's kind of like dynamic conditional formatting. It's kind of cool. And then, of course, you could maintain and just keep adding to your particular column of numbers. So have fun playing around with conditional formatting. And don't forget, you can put in formulas to really look at the data that you want to change the look of.